Hey guys, AJ here back with another one for you. So I covered this on a on a courtroom madness live stream earlier, but I figured that I'd talk about the whole fresh and fit, fresh CEO pregnancy thing, right? <laughs> yes, I usually don't talk about other uh, YouTube tubers, but guys, this story is just so hilarious that, that I have to comment on it, right? So we're gonna get into this, but before we do guys, like, subscribe, drop a comment, because it really helps keep this channel going. Check out my second channel linked in the description and check out the playlist at the end, guys. Now, I'm not the biggest Fresh and Fit fan. I used to watch them like a year and a half ago, two years ago, and now I'll catch clips of theirs every now and now and then. But as we all know, Fresh, he's the weakest part of the podcast, right? He just is, right? He doesn't contribute much. And he just looks on, just like a dork. You know what I'm saying? And he always tries to flex his money, blah, 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 right? And I just don't see how anyone can take, like, advice from this guy as far as, like, manhood. I I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? But, so, this chick right here at the bottom, there's his face here. And there's a, she's putting him on blast, guys, on blast. Text messages phone calls, all that, dude, look at that. What were you thinking, you knucklehead? So guys, let's look at the phone call first, okay? <laughs> let's look at the phone call. And this is a guy who's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a thousand bodies and I'm a high value, value, value man. And you know, uh, 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 <laughs> don't get these three or fours pregnant. And that's exactly what he did. So guys, this is this 304 here is recording the phone call. And let's see how Fresh handles the talk, right? Here we go. I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. Look at that, guys. In my religion, you don't you don't kill, but you can have sex before marriage. Okay. <laughs> You're not killing. Okay. <laughs> I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. You're doomed, no. bro. Okay, you're doomed. So what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Now, guys, right there, that's how he should have known that this was a setup, right? That she has to be recording this conversation because you guys remember when when Mel Gibson's ex-wife was was recording him on the phone, right? You need medication, Mel. He's like, what? Right? You know, <laughs> he had to have known she's recording this. Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... You're cooked, bro. I to, the, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Ah, there it is. There it is, guys. Why did you make me pregnant? <laughs> right there. That's something like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. like. So just think about it. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. God Sorry? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. <laughs> Look at that. She said God wants to have the baby. Dude, he is cooked, man. When they start bringing out God and Jesus, you are cooked, bro. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're, relate in a rela you're fucking me for a month. And I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, now, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already said by having sex, but it's too late now. You know. 
but honestly, all right. So there it is, guys. There's the phone call. There is the phone call. Right, right there. <laughs> and then, of course, she put the receipts. And guys, all these people are just clowning him in the com comments, right? And guys, look at this. So these are the text messages, right? Let's go. Let's go back here. So it starts. <laughs> and she says, uh, he, he says, it was a joke. She says, all I'm saying is you should take care of the responsibility for what you did. I'm a, a victim in this relationship and, and I'm carrying your babe. You act like you don't care and you don't want not, nothing. He says, also, now I'm worried that I have to test other girls. At least four. Come on, Fresh. Who you? Come on. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Come on, man. <laughs> Just another girl? Four girls? Are you saying that you have sex with four girls without protection? I hope you have all the money for your child's support. Look at that. You finally admit you are an effing piece of trash. You are effing, effing trash. He says, I don't have money. Good luck. LOL. You'll see. So then, he says, you should have a kid with someone with someone you are with love in. And in the same household, it won't be what you expect. Man up, I'm telling you now so you don't know. Excuse me, man up, I'm telling you now so you know. She says, I don't expect anything anymore since we're not together. I got pregnant with you. So when I was in your house and when I was in love, you wanted to have the baby. If you didn't, you you did finish in me with, with your own pleasure. Be logic and be a man. There it is. And I don't get pregnant by myself. So there's that shaming lang language. Step up and be a man because you got me pregnant. Guys, everything that they say to not do, Fresh has done. Right? He simps for friggin' sugar babies. Right? He takes chicks on all these expensive dates and all this other stuff. You know? And then he's trying to, trying to say that he's got game and he has a thousand bodies. Please. She says, it's not fair for the baby. <laughs> he says, what, what are you saying? So we are not together. It wouldn't be. Why would that be good for a kid? She goes, well, then why did you shoot up the club? <laughs> he says, also things happen. And yes, feelings change. But bring a child into this world without both parents to love is cruel. We both thought that you wouldn't get pregnant. She says, three to four weeks. I'm assuming that's pregnant, right? He goes, oh, okay. She says, it's our baby. And you want to kill... You want, to delete our baby. You are not being a good human. And guys, this is the thing. Fresh, he should have known better. Because all these chicks, right? They all claim to be strong and independent and all this ethnic and all this um, pro-choice. I am woman, hear me roar. In numbers too big to ignore. But then once they, they see that positive pregnancy test, all that goes out the window. Right? And they will tell you straight to your face, if I got pregnant, I would delete the baby. And then that pregnancy test comes, the ultrasound comes, and you guys sit and have the talk, and you find out. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run on muck. Look at that. Look at that. She says, he says, it's not about that right now. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. Now, guys, I don't know what he's talking about here. Either he's trying to trick her into think thinking he's broke or something actually is going on over there. He says, I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. And that's where you went wrong, Fresh. She says, I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. So look, she says, I never Agreed, but then she says, I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep shooting up the club, I will get pregnant. I didn't get pregnant without your behave. Word means nothing. Man up. I'm not saying I want to be with you. Don't. 
Because you are nothing to me. The baby is innocent. And then guys, look, she she gets the, the, the pregnancy test. Oops. Look at that, man. Look at that. She says, you always told me, uh, you always told me that you wanted me to be your kid's mom. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think that I want to keep the baby. I don't want to delete alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. He says, I'll call you short, short, shortly. She, she says, uh, take your time. I guess he left her like a voicemail. He says, I can't have kids. And she says, take responsibility for your actions. Fresh is doomed, man. He's doomed. He's doomed. <laughs> and look at this. Look at these comments. Someone says, if the woman's pregnant, it's never an accident. She wants you to be the father. Someone says that she's making the right the decision to not delete his baby. Look at that, man. Someone has his greatest moments. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's see this guy. Everybody want to be a superstar. Get a lot of money. On some level, level as well, she understands that, like, you might have some sister noise in there, but it's just maybe like my Because there's noise in there. Yeah, anyways, like I said, he's the weakest link, man. And now, so someone says, why is she acting like it's not her fault, too? I get that she carries a baby for nine months. But stop acting like you don't have accountability yourself. Kids should be disappointed in both parents. Yep. Look at that, guys. Man, oh man, oh man. Fresh is in trouble. And guys, you know all the enemies that they've made over the years are going to be all over them for this. And I, You know what? Fresh is a goofball. He really, really is. But he should have known better. He needs to get a DNA test pronto. So, all right, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that this is a scam on this chick's part? Do you think Fresh is actually st st stupid enough to do this, to raw dog this 304? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'll keep you guys updated during this because this is going to be a long, crazy story. All right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch, catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.